A town in the Midcoast is trying to find the source of pollution that's been responsible for a number of closures of valuable shellfish beds. And as News Center Maine's Vivian Lee reports, those closures in Harpswell are creating an economic hardship for harvesters. Water resource scientists Maggie Kelly and Margaret Mills are surveying a number of coves off the coast of Harpswell. Mm -hmm. From that point, right down to here. These coves and a number of others encompass more than 400 acres of valuable shellfish beds. But you won't see any harvesting going on here at low tide. These coves are closed or restricted to seasonal harvesting following the discovery of bacterial contamination several years ago a concern that's not isolated to this small fishing community. It's a common problem that a lot of coastal communities have and it's something that we can kind of help track. Both women work for FB Environmental, a consulting firm. Thanks to a more than $12,000 grant and funding from the town of Harpswell, scientists will soon begin sampling tributaries that flow into the coves to try to pin down the source of the pollution. And if we get a hit with a human marker, um, that would kind of help us to then like work with the town um, to look at septic systems in the area. Scientists will also try to determine if the contamination is coming from runoff that may contain fertilizer or waste from wildlife or livestock. Now Harpswell has about 55 commercial shellfish harvesters and putting limits or completely restricting fertile shellfish bed areas is putting more pressure on their livelihoods. Yes, Paul Plummer is the harbor master and the marine resources manager for the town of Harpswell. You know they're struggling to find ways to make a living. You know some have lobster licenses. Um, others are just trying to find other work, anything to make a living. Scientists could issue a report by the end of the year. If the source of the contamination is failing septic systems, property owners could access town or state funds to make repairs. But depending on the findings, it could be several years before the coves are reopened for harvesting again. At Hartswell, Vivian Lee, News Center, Maine.